My name is Stephanie. I'm a UX designer, and today we are talking all about user flow diagrams. What is a user flow? In a simple broken down definition, a user flow is a documentation, it's a diagram of the steps a user will take to achieve a certain goal. So you're mapping out the process a user is going to do just to understand how they're going to use your product. You can point out any pain points, make sure that your experience is up to snuff, make sure your experience is what you've designed it to be. It's also a good artifact to get buy-in from product managers, stakeholders, developers, other designers. So diagrams help you all get on the same page and you all understand how your user is going to flow through your product. So in this video, we are going to go through the step-by-step -step process to create a user flow diagram. Before we get started in our diagram, you want to make sure you have a few things already figured out before you start. First thing is going to be identifying your user. And that's not just like, oh, somebody who uses our app. You want it to be a little bit more specific. So in this scenario that we are going to create, we are the designers for an app where you can book hotels. That's what we're going to be doing. So our user in this case is somebody that is looking to book a hotel room. Next thing you want to make sure you have identified is the user's goals. With this one, you have to be careful because you don't want it to be too big. You want to make sure your goals and your problem that you're solving for is specific and actionable. Well, the user's goal is to set up a price alert. So they are trying to book a hotel room, but they want to set up a price alert. Whenever they're ready to buy, they want to get notified if and when the price lowers for whatever hotel they're looking at. That is more specific, you see what I mean, than just they're trying to book a hotel. Okay, <laughs> that is definitely people's goals, but in this case, we are trying to build in this feature, so we want to make sure that our goal is aligned to that. Once you've got those pieces of information figured out, you're ready to start diagramming. So the first thing you want to diagram is the entry point. Wherever the user is going to be starting, that is what you want to diagram, and we are going to signify that with this circle, and that'll be the entry point. So home page, whatever that is, we'll just make a little note, home page. So then the next step from there, specifically if they're trying to book a hotel, they are going to search for their hotel. And so that search probably includes the destination city, the dates, check-in, check-out, all of that, okay? When it comes to UX diagrams, you probably will come across some that have like different shapes, circles, rectangles, diamonds. In this case, we are not really making any yes or no decisions, so you're not going to see a lot of diamonds come into place. The circle signifies the entry point. The rectangles are going to be actions slash maybe home pages, web pages, apps, app screens that the user is going to be landing on. Okay, so once they've searched for the hotel, they are going to see the search results and they're going to see the list of results that match their criteria. They're going to be able to sort through some of the basic information like general price, location, star rating, all of that. Okay, and so the next thing that they're gonna to wanna to do is select a hotel. Okay, once they've decided on, well, let's say they're staying at the Four Seasons. They select on the Four Seasons to see more of the listing details. So the next step, I'll bring it down here, is going to be the hotel details page. And then from there, they'll be able to see a little bit more information about the hotels, maybe the rooms that are offered, general price for their whole stay, maybe taxes and fees, that kind of thing. Here though, we wanna make sure is where we're gonna add in this new feature. So this is where we're gonna wanna make sure we include that new feature. So here, the action that we want the user to take is to turn on the price alert button. So somewhere on this hotel details page, there will be a button, a call to action, a banner, something like we don't have to solution just yet, but we know here is where we want to put that feature. So the user will turn on price alert feature slash button, whatever we want to call it. Okay. From here, we can have some kind of modal or something to signify like, yes, I am turning this on. So we can say user confirms this previous action.
Okay, and so from here, that is pretty much the end of this flow because again, we made it very specific in the sense of we want the user to be able to turn on the price alert button. Through this flow, the user is able to accomplish that. From there, we can kind of move into other solutions of what does that notification look like? Is it instantaneous? Is it an email? Is it a text? More of that developed. But right here is the very simple and basic diagram of how to create a user flow. While creating a user flow is a great first step, it's now time to put that into practice. So check out this video on screen of how to create your first wireframe in under 10 minutes.